Judy Pugh rushed to her hallway with her three cats when she saw debris spinning in the air. As the roof blew away, a wall fell on top of her. I tried to get to, to my hands and knees and I couldn't. I heard the young man hollering, Miss Judy, Miss Judy, are you in there? Judy escaped with black eyes, but says she would have been sucked away by that tornado if it weren't for that very wall. Out of this remarkable story, her house is gone. She found a couple of things that she still has. Crystal bowls inside her kitchen cabinet, completely untouched. But that doesn't matter to Judy. She has what she loves. Two of her cats survived. One hasn't been seen since the storm. But Judy doesn't give up hope, looking every day for the last three weeks for her lost friend. Unbelievably, during our visit, Judy's shaggy friend of 10 years came out of nowhere. See your mama, oh God, love it. Oh, honey, honey, oh. Oh my God, you probably don't like your poem. Oh, 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 honey. Oh, I have everything in the world now. I have that three cats. <laughs> Katie made it through the tornado, heat, and cold without food or water for nearly a month. I've got Katie, I've got Katie, I'm at the house. I wish he could talk. He can tell me where he's been. <laughs> Reunited once again, Judy is now ready to move on. In Tuscaloosa. It's my baby. My one blue eye and one green eye. God love it. Ted McInerney, CBS 42 News.